Good morning, everyone. Today is, what day is it, Tuesday? Tuesday the 18th. Tuesday the 18th. I'm here with my dad. He's my driver. Hi, dad. Hi. And my favorite girl is in the back seat. She's buckled up. You can't tell with her sweater, but she's buckled up. And she's tired, sleeping, because it's early. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I have an appointment with the pain doctor that does injections. I know nothing about that, so hopefully I can get a lot of answers. I will tell you guys all about it when I'm done here. Um, my dad's just gonna drop me off there at the front right door. There. Where, where? City of Hope, if you wanna turn the can. Oh, you guys wanna see City of Hope? Here's Part City of, of the Hope. End, end of it. And when I come out, I'll tell you guys what I learned, if they want to inject me with anything, and I'll update you guys then. All right, let's go. Let's go to my appointment. Kyle is at work today, but I'm gonna call him and have him on speakerphone to help me take in the knowledge and ask any questions that I might not think of. And you guys know I was nervous last time with all of the information, so I'm gonna call him. Is this like the Vogue thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the room. Look at this cool thing. Cool. My kids would like that. And now, now I just wait. Okay, you guys, I'm calling Kyle on speakerphone. I forgot to call him in the appointment, whoops. Hello? Hey, honey. Hey, how'd it go? Good, sorry I forgot to call you. That's okay, just worried. You know I don't have the best attention span, and once okay. they started talking to me, I was like, oh, hi, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it went well. I told her that um, the doctor was so incredibly nice and the other gentleman in the room, I don't know if he was an NP or what, but he was very nice. Anyway, um, I told them that this appointment was originally scheduled because of that new nerve pain I was having down my back. Yeah. And she was just asking me all the details about it, about all my pains really and she was happy that I'm not having that pain right now. Good. I told her like, I don't believe I need the injection right now because blah, 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 blah. Like, right. because I'm not having that shooting nerve pain, because the pain has gotten better since gabapentin, blah, blah, blah. And she said she agrees, but they want to keep in touch with me every so often. I think my next appointment's in two months. Oh, that's to good stay on top of things. Great. She suggested potentially starting a low dose Lyrica, or okay. there, there was another one that I don't remember, but it's in the notes of the appointment. Got it. She emailed my regular pain management doctor for that, and she said, we're gonna talk back and forth to see if maybe it's smart to get ahead of if this nerve pain comes back, starting okay. the Lyrica low dose at night or a different okay. one would then maybe stop it before it starts. Yeah. But I told her I wanna talk with him more about that and talk with you more about that because yeah. part of me is a little afraid to try something else. If, if it's okay if, right now. If I struggled with the gabapentin, yeah. I like feeling clear from another med uh -huh. for the time being if possible. But. She said to research some before my next appointment and then talk in my next appointment about that. We'll figure it out and yeah. uh, see see what everyone decides. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad she was nice. Yeah. She yeah. was so nice. Great. Yeah. Did she explain what she does? Yeah. <laughs> if you asked me to repeat it, I couldn't. <laughs> but, but she's she so smart. Like, I was like... She said she could figure out which nerve is doing it and like uh -huh. go in and shut off that nerve. I said, you can figure out which nerve it is? She's like, yeah, of course. 
Did you tell her anything about like since your biopsy and stuff? Yep, yep. She yeah. she was interested in that, so I'll tell the video I'm recording. I'm, I'll tell the video oh, okay. too. Um, when I first had my first biopsy done through my back shoulder, I've had a nerve pain that comes at night when I lay flat. So that's why I first couldn't lay flat. Now I told her the fluid is more of a problem for laying flat than that even was. Yeah. And she understood that. Uh -huh. She said that it could, she's still not convinced it's the gabapentin that was making me feel all those new pains. Uh -huh. She said she thinks it could be how my body's reacting to treatment. She said even if it's working, treatment's working, which she thinks it is by my scans and how long I've been on it, she said even if it's working, it could cause new pains. And so right. maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah, I could see that too. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot to take in. If things are all swollen and infected, like let's just pretend cancer is a big infection and swollen. Yeah. And then you start to put a band-aid on it and starts to heal a little bit. Things were in the wrong place for a long time. Things yeah. Things pushing, things were, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's so bizarre. You know, what? she said the cancer plays a part in it, the fluid plays a part in it, you know. Yeah. She said that she's oftentimes seen pain as the first symptom of cancer. Really? That some people <laughs> would have clear scans because they're trying to figure out what's this pain, what's this pain? And then in the next, like the third scan, they start to see some cancer show up. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I thought that was interesting because pain was my first symptom. Right. Yeah, it was. So I thought that was interesting. Well, I'm glad she was nice. Yep, me too. I'm so glad. And they want to help me in the, they want to work with me throughout all of this. And then um, if I need their services in the future, we'll do that. But for now, dad's okay. sending me a video of Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call them and go with them. Okay, well I love you. I love you, I'm so sorry I forgot to call you. It's just my attention span. No, I'm just glad it went okay and you feel good and everything's safe and happy and good. That's, that's all I care about. Yeah. All right, well I love you. I love you too, thank you honey. Okay, I'll text you later. Okay. All right, love you. Love you, bye. Bye. All right, Kyle's not mad at me, we're good. <laughs> I don't think he would have been mad at me. He's never mad at me. But I'm happy with how it went. If you guys have any information or knowledge you wanna share, I always love reading it in the comments. You guys are always helpful, so let me know if you have any info or experiences you wanna share. I always find that helpful. We're back at it, at breakfast, at the Broken Yoke. I'm going to get that. Winnie will get that. All right, we have a surprise. Are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. Kyle came on his lunch break to join us. Happy lunch break. It's a good lunch. Oh, thank you. Winnie and I napped at home and I am so tired from that nap. I woke up twice during the nap thinking that I was sleeping past Ellis's pickup time. So that was no fun, but I'm grateful for the nap. Winnie, did you enjoy your nap? I did. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wide mouth. Wow. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Winnie is ready for ballet and tap. And Ellis is ready for swim class. And now, another surprise for the day. Kyle's home. You're laughing because of the video. Oh. That's the tiniest E I've ever seen. That is the tiniest E I've ever seen.
there is a vending machine here and Kyle didn't know how to get change when he got his candy so now he has lots of snacks and drinks <laughs> for himself party boy party boy Kyle and Ellis apparently with the red vines is it good buddy now get back to your homework we are now at swim class I stayed behind to take my medicine, which I just realized I cannot find. <laughs> um, I had to bring my clinical trial life-saving medication with me because it's time to take it. And now I can't find it. Uh oh, uh -oh where did I put it? on the floor. Brought it in a Ziploc. You're not allowed to touch it, remember, because I don't know, bad chemicals or something. So I have to get it out here. Put it in my cup that Kyle packed me. Bottoms up. Let's go watch Ella swim. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Strike a pose, strike a pose, strike a pose. <laughs> Cutie. We are on a family walk through the neighborhood. When he's taking her scooter, Ellis has a Star Wars weapon. Flower is with Dad. And I have Shiloh. Shiloh is too afraid to walk. He's 19 years old, but he is almost fully blind now. So he gets scared to walk. So I'm just carrying him and he seems to enjoy it this way. Okay, let me get Winnie. Look at her go. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. You ready to be picked up again? All right. Do you guys remember Dr. Quinn, the medicine woman? <laughs> no, no one does. Yes, people do remember that. That's me. Kyle has something in his foot. It's dusty again. Is not it this that, foot? Not that foot. Oh. <laughs> this one. I don't like crumbs on my workspace, sorry. <laughs> Lay it flat. You see it? <laughs> I've got the shard of glass, my friend. Would you like to see it? Yeah. No kidding. That was in there? Mm hmm Whoa. <laughs> Here you are. Wow. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. Oh. Feel better? I mean... <laughs> Press on your foot, see if it feels better. It hurts. It hurts? Yeah. I'm sorry. How'd you do it? I just pulled the skin around it. It was like oh. callous skin, so I just uh -huh. pulled the callous skin around it and then pulled it out. You're a genius. Will you do my finger now? <laughs> All right. I'm not like any of those, ma'am. If you guys get a hangnail, do not pull it. I was about to today and I said my wife would say, uh-uh. I used to pull them all the time when I was a kid, and I would have bloody fingers, but oh. if you have a hangnail, use this tool, it's called, they're called nippers, and you go up as close to the base as you can, nip and pull it off. Make sure you have a clean tool with only your germs on it. If you're going to use it on other people, you need to properly disinfect it. My finger feels ten times better already. Yay. Just with then one nip. What about your foot? 
My foot is starting to feel better. No back. offense, it was a little stinky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to get all close to it. Oof. There were a couple points, Rosie. Like, oh! I thought Jenny would say, come on, man, look what I have to go through in a day. You can get your little foot cut by a little nipper a little bit. I didn't even cut it. I just took away callous skin. <laughs> and then pulled it out. It's just tender because you've been walking on a piece of glass for what, two days? Yeah. You should have told me sooner, sweet. I kept thinking, eh, it's It was go so away. deep because you waited so long. Feels better. Good. Something so small, you know, it really hurt. Like a splinter, like a splinter. or a paper cut. Ouch. That's what I always tell Kyle when people talk about the pain scale. From a scale of one to 10, how bad is the pain? I'm terrible at pain scales, don't get me started, but I go, I always say to Kyle, well, a paper cut counts as at least a one, right? Oh, so yeah. are we starting with the paper cut? Anyways, I struggle with the pain scale. Please tell me someone else struggles with it because man, do you struggle with it honey or no? I haven't been in the scenario as much as you. I get asked it all the time. I've gotten better at it, but it's just, it's just hard. I can't remember the last time I was like, quote unquote, injured where they had to ask me that. I think it was like, sophomore year of college in football. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know Kyle played college football? Cutie. <laughs> he was a lineman, uh -huh. a defensive line, offensive lineman, and he, played the position where he bent over and threw the ball to the quarterback. Is that right? Oh. Is that right? I played center where you center. snapped the ball to the quarterback. I also played guard and tackle. And I used to go to all of his games, unless I worked, then I didn't go. But I used to go to all of his games. We were best friends at the time. Yes, we were. It is the end of the day and I am going to sign off. But before I do, I wanted to talk about my last video where I broke down. <laughs> I was so emotional, I was so down. Disneyland did help cheer me up. It helped to distract me. Seeing family helped cheer me up. It was really nice. We celebrated my brother. He's been at his job for 18 years, so we celebrated him at Disneyland, which was fun. And at the end, we ended up staying really late, even though it was a school night, because it was what the doctor ordered. <laughs> and at the end of the night, we were able to get on almost all of the Fantasyland rides, which is like Pinocchio, Snow White, Peter Pan, Toad's Wild Ride, Dumbo, the carousel, the train. We got on a whole bunch of rides, all within like, the last 40 minutes or 45 minutes maybe the last hour and it was a lot of fun we really liked it thank you guys for being so sweet to me in the comments you guys were really nice it's hard to post such vulnerable videos but I really want to show what it's like to have cancer because if I'm always posting only smiling videos then it's not quite as accurate and I'm tempted to film actually during a panic attack sometime. It's just I haven't thought of it. But I've been tempted to do that because, I don't know, it might be interesting to someone. Um, it's interesting to me. <laughs> but thank you guys for being so nice and supportive on that. It really meant so much to me. A weird thing that Kyle told me I had to tell you guys is that my cancer causes pain and it causes pain in my diaphragm so I, I one of my signs for finding my cancer was this pain and then this pain stopped me from being able to yawn I don't yawn anymore and it stopped me from sneezing the way I normally do I can still still sneeze but it's like limited and my body alters the way I sneeze because of how bad it hurts and then hiccups I don't get hiccups anymore I'll get like one at a time after eating or something but I won't get hiccups like I used to 
my whole life. And after my first eight rounds of chemo and 30 rounds of radiation in 2021, I was able to have the hiccups come back, like a pattern of hiccups. And we thought it was because treatment was working and at that time treatment was working. And tonight and the other day, I was able to have the hiccups again. It hurts really bad and I'm like trying to make them stop as quickly as I can, but my body hasn't even given me the option to have five hiccups in a row. And tonight I did, and the other day with Winnie I did. So Kyle's like, yay, that means the cancer's dying. That means your body's getting better. So we hope that's what it means. That's what it meant in 2021 before my bad immunotherapy reaction, I was able to do some hiccups. And I haven't been able to for a really long time. So I'm hoping that's what it means, that maybe my cancer is clearing out in my lung. And then that thing I told you guys about when I laid flat, where in the mornings I've had it where it feels like my lung almost plops, Ew, and it like switches places with the fluid or something. It's doing that every morning now, but I'm getting more used to it. I'm just accepting it. Like, all right, I gotta get up and do my plop. Ooh, okay, we, we've got it. And it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Gross, really gross, but <laughs> maybe it means stuff's changing in there. Maybe it's a good thing. That's how I'm trying to look at it. So we'll see, I believe I have scans at the end of this month, yeah, next week. I have scans next week. So, we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you so much. If I could hug you, I'm giving you a virtual hug. I would, because you guys truly mean so much to me. You help me so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate you. Have a good night or day. I will see you soon. Bye.